You don't know how I feel. Maybe not. But what I do know is that right here in front of that fire, on a clear, gorgeous night in front of the biggest sky that I'd ever seen, everything was perfect. You and I stopped fighting and we finally looked at each other, really looked. And then I kissed you and everything in my life changed. You're in my blood. It's a bad choice of words. Okay, look, I'm far from perfect. I'm just a screwed up guy that's trying to deal with a lifetime of pain. But when I try to figure out what happened next, all I can say is that I didn't trust it, okay? Because as, as a little kid, I learned not to trust perfect moments. You know, like like a simple game of rummy or, or an afternoon of fly fishing. Anything could turn on a dime. It got so bad that the good times all felt like a setup for the fall. So I decided the only person in my life that I could trust was me. And if I just kept reaching higher and, and, and higher, it, I wouldn't have to fall. And love, love is for suckers. Like me. No one and nothing has been like you. I live my life in this dark, narrow tunnel, and I didn't even realize it until I saw the light. And you were that light. It's funny. I'm not laughing. Okay, so, yeah, maybe you felt those things. They weren't real. You know, because the second you went back into that house, found out that Asa Buchanan had a bastard son, that love and that light didn't mean a damn thing. That's to not you. true. Jared, you are making the mistake of confusing wanting me for loving me. And believe me, those two have a world of difference between them. Thank you for a great bedtime story. It's one for the books. I'm not done. Oh, well, you know what? Too bad. John had nothing to do with Star and Cole running away. Yeah, protected Cole when he shot Miles. That's the way it is. I'll be in touch. <laughs> you don't tell my wife you'll be in touch. What is wrong with you? in a jail cell before I get anywhere near my wife. Ignore him, John. Believe me, I am. Dr. Lord, if you'd like to speak with Langston, feel free to tell her I will speak with her later. Thank you very much. Yes, I will be talking to Langston. <laughs> and uh, if anybody can find out the truth, I will. Uh, I'd leave Langston to me. The only reason that you are in this house is because of Blair. And, Todd, if you go anywhere near that child, I'll kill you. Excuse me, I wish you never brought that street urchin into this house. They're all going to pay, you know? All of them. Dorian, McBain, Ramsey, Langston. All going to pay. I'm cold, man. When I'm done with him, he's going to wish he was Are you born. ever going to take any responsibility for what happens in this family? Uh, so, how's Cole holding up? Um, he's okay. You know, he, he's actually being really great. He made sure that everything is totally set up for us. He actually just ran out to go get me some ginger ale because I'm feeling queasy. Hey, you want to tell her how our family's doing? Could you let my mom know that I'm all right? I, I could, but if it got back to your dad and then he figured out... You're right. Don't say anything. What about Jack? Does, does he know? Langston, are you in there? What are you doing in Star's room? I was just trying to find a clue as to where she might have gone. Mm -hmm. What did you just put in that bag? Mm -hmm. 